okay great so to continue on the concatenation well you should know that concatenation can be done in two directions okay we can concatenate matrices horizontally and we can concatenate them vertically okay but before you remember that in the act of creating matrices we had a logic okay say we had a matrix for example let me say randy of 10 comma 3 let's say we had this matrix and we wanted to to create it right using our fundamental creating technique with the use of brackets what did we do we went row after row right okay and uh, created the matrices and we said the elements of each row are uh, separated by commas right so what does this tell you what we can say we are doing here is concatenating 9 and 10 horizontally right so we are saying that elements that are placed horizontal with respect to each other have to be separated by commas are you seeing that so 9 uh, comma 10 comma 3 right so these elements are placed horizontally with respect to each other so generally when you open the brackets okay and you want to uh, put elements that are supposed to be one next to the other or one at the left of another okay you have to use the comma or as we saw the space it is the same logic when it comes to concatenating matrices horizontally okay so if we have a matrix a and we have a matrix b okay and we want to create a new matrix that has matrix uh, A, 1, 2, 3, 4 as the first two columns, okay? And then matrix B, 5, 6, 7, 8 as these uh, last two columns. Then we need to concatenate A and B horizontally. So to create that new matrix, let me call it B, okay? We'll just open the squares and say A first, comma, B, right? And when we press enter, A, okay will be put first the overall matrix a then comma the overall matrix b will be put second okay so what does this teach us also it teaches us that for horizontal concatenation to work the matrices that have been horizontally concatenated have to have the same number of rows so if i create a matrix c for example okay and i say c is equal to um uh, one two three uh or let's just be fast about it let me say c is randy of 10 comma and we want a three by two matrix right so now with respect to b for example c has a number of rows of three and b has a number of rows of two right so what happens if we want to concatenate these two uh horizontally then I will have C, right, uh, comma B, for example, okay? What does that tell us? Or what does that So you see, they say dimensions of arrays being concatenated are not consistent, right? Because this uh, C has three rows and B has two rows. So there is still this last space down to be filled, right? Good. So, uh... As you can see here, there is this function horse cat that also enable us to do horizontal concatenation. It is a built-in MATLAB function. So to use horse cat, you can just say, remember we were using A and B, right? You can just say B is equals to horse cat of uh, A comma B, okay? And uh, that should give you that should give you the the correct answer. It will put A first and then uh, B second. Okay, so horse cut stands for horizontal concatenation. Oh, did we spell that wrong? Good. So did you mean horse cut? <laughs> I place R there. It is horse cut, not horse cart. Okay. So enter. 
you replace A first as you can see and B second. So with horse card, you can put as many commas here as possible. If you have other elements that you need to add here, okay. So I can say horse card and then I add another matrix here. Let me say Randy, another two by two matrix, right? Okay, it will just add. Okay, you can add as many matrices here as possible. It would uh, do a horizontal concatenation of all of them. Good. So, uh, in the next video, we shall be looking at vertical concatenation. Okay. So, see you there.